What's up guys? Welcome again to my channel. For today's video, I will show you how to stop generator on board a ship. Before we start, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Generator is the machine on board a ship that used to convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. In my previous video, I discussed and showed you how to start and synchronize generator. And for today's video, we are going to stop the generator. Just like starting and synchronizing, there are two types also for disconnecting of load prior stopping the generator, the manual and the automatic. But before we do that, let's change over first the fuel oil line into diesel oil line. Open the diesel oil inlet valve and close the fuel oil inlet valve. And for changing over the outlet valve, we should wait for 10 to 15 minutes so that the line will be flushed and cleaned by diesel oil. Then, after the inlet valves have been changed over, let's go to the generator control panel for disconnecting of load to the generator service number 2, the one that we are going to stop. Let's do the manual first. Put to manual by pushing the mode select button also the generator service number one put to manual why so that we can manually operate the governor lower the governor or the kilowatt of the service number two and raise the governor or kilowatt of the service number 1 simultaneously. We must lower the load of the service number 2 generator which we are going to stop until 20 kilowatts. If you lower it until 0, it will cause reverse power trip or motorization. After that, pull the ACB control or the air circuit breaker control and switch to open position. Another type of disconnecting of load is the automatic. Simply put to auto mode, then push the auto load shift. It's automatically shifting the load to the service number one and disconnect the air circuit breaker of the service number 2. Now, you have the option to disconnect the load, manual or automatic. After disconnecting the load, wait for 10 to 15 minutes to lower the exhaust gas temperature of the generator to 200 to 250 degrees Celsius depends to your manual or generator after a minute of waiting let's go to the engine side and let's change over the outlet valves by opening the diesel oil outlet valve
and closing the fuel oil outlet valve. This time, the line from fuel oil to diesel oil line has been fully changed over. And then, it's time to stop our generator. Put to engine side first. Then, hold the handle of the lever and put it to the stop position. Wait for the RPM or the revolution per minute to become zero. Open the test cock or indicator valve. And push the start button 2 to 3 seconds for air blow. Then, close the test cap or indicator valve. And put to run position. and to the remote position. After that, go to the generator control panel and select your first standby and second standby generator. Meaning that if you need a generator's load, for example for departure and arrival, or ballasting and debalasting, it is ready to start. Before we finally end this video, I would like to stress out the importance of changing over of fuel oil and diesel oil valves because this is a very crucial job where you must carry out the steps without fail because an error could lead to blackout and contamination or mixing of diesel oil to fuel oil tank or worse fuel oil to diesel oil tank.
watching, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.